I'm standing here in front of the Suffolk County Insane Asylum where there's been reports of murders and patient abuse. It is under investigation and we will keep you updated. Yeah. What did they ask you? Don't worry, just be honest. Where were you on October 9th at around 9.30? I was working my night shift at the hospital. Were you responsible for taking care of the patient Zachary Lee? I usually am, but not that night. Why was that? I was told someone else were to check him so I could take my break. And who gave you that information? The receptionist working on that floor. What's their name? I don't know. So you're telling me you don't know the name of the receptionist who you've been working with for six months? I'm bad with names. Mrs. Baker, I have to tell you, every single nurse was a suspect, but you, you're intriguing me. You seem like you're pretty bad at your job if you're telling me that. I probably saved more people than you do. You didn't save Zachary. If he wasn't put into the hospital, he would have ended up dead. He didn't know what crossing boundaries were. What illness did he have again? Why does it matter? You either answer these questions or you're staying the night here. He has multiple personality disorder. And what were his personalities? He was this eight-year-old kid who would throw terrible tantrums, then he would be this old perverted man, and then he would be a teenager who thought the whole world was against him. Seems like he didn't like him so much. I have favorites. I have one more question. What's that? What was your relation to Mr. Martinez? The security guard? We were just co-workers. It was strictly just work. Are you sure? Because the footage from that night was completely swiped and no one was able to get contact with him. What are you saying? You think I was in cahoots with the security guard? I don't think I know. We searched your office and we found love letters exchanged between you and Mr. Martinez. You wanted to go to him because you needed something to be comforted about. The date was October 9th. You don't understand. I tried and I tried to take care of him, but he was so insane. I felt like I needed to be in a mental hospital alongside of him. It, was, it would drive anyone insane. I would be in harm all the time. I would get bite marks. I would be pushed bruises. And he would say all these nasty comments to me. I, I just couldn't deal with it anymore. You have to understand. Just please understand. I just can't. I can't. That was your job as a caretaker. Mrs. Baker, you were under arrest for the murder of Zachary Lee. Welcome to my crib, guys. I mean, our crib. Oh, wow, she's, she's dancing, guys. Um, these are the blue hallways. This is the blue, B hallway for blue. That's why the walls are blue. Wow. <laughs> this is the nurse's office. I want to see the puppies. Can't even hear it. Are there puppies? Yeah. Oh, for real? Wait, yes, I am. Wait, wait, why not? Who really cares? Wait, they're they're going to just take everything off the SD card anyway. I'll just throw it on my computer as a joke. Yes. Why are they not here today? Because there's a vet, it's a vet thing. And it's we have time in the video. I'll probably just add it to the floor. Yo, guys, I want to see if you do it right out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's perfect, right there. All right. Let's do it. We knew before because how low well yeah. we how well we might have been talking. Hello. Oh my god, it does work. Someone should leave this to the door. I got it. You know what? Wait, I want a model. So random. This is so random. Oh, this is okay, so sad. I don't know. I'm back. Tell me you're ready. I'm ready. <clears throat> My stomach just growled. Okay. That was your job. Shit. <laughs> you said the right thing. No, I, I want to make it more dramatic. <laughs> Go. That was your job as a caretaker. Mrs. Baker, you were under the arrest. Why again? Ready. That was your job as a caretaker. Mrs. Baker, you were under the arrest for the murder. <laughs> under the arrest. 